what's up guys it's been a while since i picked up the camera and like recorded vlogs whatever you want to call it um so today is wednesday april 15th and it's about noon i just did some homework all morning and i have some very exciting news baby is so healthy um i am 13 and a half weeks today so i'm technically in the second trimester yeah quarantine i've been at home for the last like i don't know it's been a while that i've been home um because i was so sick in the beginning of my pregnancy that i couldn't work also um just like i guess like this is like a life update that i was told that i have hyperemesis which is basically like extreme morning sickness that just doesn't end and um it's been really hard for me. Um, I know for like Doug, it's been hard, my family, because I've lost a lot of weight. And in the first like 10 weeks, I was getting sick all day, every day. Like I could hardly eat and it was just not a life to live. Um, and I finally got put on a right combination, like the right combination of medicine. And I, knock on wood i feel so much better and i just feel like i have my life back that i can do things and i am not glued to the couch or my bathroom and i still am down a few pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight but i'm not like i have to gain them back right away and i am having a ton of food aversions that i've had since probably six weeks is when i stopped eating like chicken sweet potatoes eggs I can't eat anything like that. Meat freaks me out. It sounds gross. And I just don't want it. I'm still working out every single day, probably five to six times a week. And then I'm doing cardio just whenever I want to. I'm not really serious about it. It's just, I mean, I do cardio to kind of keep me sane. And um, I'm bored at home. I really have nothing to do. I clean and make Doug's lunch, and then sit on the couch all day. <laughs> that is pretty much it. I'm going to get on with my day and do some schoolwork, and then I guess I will check back in when I go to work out. workout shake so blender bottle then I have just almond milk it did like that much I added a little bit of water and then chocolate milk it is the secret ingredient um I've been craving chocolate milk, like it is no one's business. So first thing we use is this Rival Whey sample that I have. Um, it's in chocolate and I actually really like this stuff, but I have a ton of samples that I just want to use before they expire. Make sure the lid's closed and So that's that. And for my carbs, I am going to do lightly salted rice cakes, so I have my Easter plate here. Now I'm going to go sit outside because it is so nice out. I have to break my rice cakes because they don't fit on the plate. Yes, I worked out. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to do. I did all my homework this morning, so... Oh. It's just really nice out. It's a little windy, but whatever. And the rest of Doug's Bowflex came. It came while I was working out, so they just delivered it there because the squat rack is in the way from our garage. So me and Doug are just gonna move it when he gets home from 
work. So for now, I'm just gonna eat my post-workout snack meal. And then I don't really know. I'm gonna sit outside for as long as I want to or can, and then head inside. It is a new day. Obviously, I just stopped vlogging yesterday, but it is Wednesday, April 22nd at one in the afternoon. And I just got a ton of stuff in the mail. So I figured I would do like a little bit of a try on haul with what I got from a few different places. Honestly, the Instagram ads got me. I bought stuff from Instagram ads and then Alphalete when they had their launch and some maternity stuff from Amazon and then two sports bras from Target. I got this sports bra from Target and as you can see, there's some detailing up at the top and then it's like a, a lightly lined bra. I don't like a really tight waist or not waistband. I guess bra band here so this is like nice and comfortable in teal I got a large yeah I got a large in both the same mesh detailing up onto the straps and then the front is like a ribbed kind of design next I got these shorts hopefully you can see them I'm standing on my tippy toes I got these shorts from an Instagram ad so they're not bad. Let me do this turn around. And this is the bra. So yeah, I, you know me, I never wear low rise, medium rise shorts. All my shorts go to here. I don't know how I feel about this. The brand is called Tough Mode. I'm not mad about them, but you can see here there is a seam at the bottom and that seam at the bottom is kind of like cutting my thighs off and I I guess I have bigger thighs now because I my weight is redistributing from being pregnant so I will definitely measure my thighs these solid green shorts I got in a size small and I figured with a bump I could put the bump over the shorts and then I can wear them in the summer when I'm prepping again I don't know they were like 20 bucks I'm really not mad but they're very soft and they are comfortable except for this like thigh seam this is the second pair of shorts from tough mode and these are the same style of shorts as the solid green ones okay here we go with the solid green these are the same style on the website, but then when I looked at the size guide, the sizing was different for the print versus the solid. So now that I tried the print on, these are vastly different than the solids. This waist is higher in the print and the front is a lot lower, it feels like. And then this material is thicker as well. And I'm not being squeezed totally in the thigh and they feel really nice. These feel really nice overall. I would totally wear these and I wish that they made high rise, like super high rise shorts, but I really, really like the print feel better than solid. Okay, I just want to talk about these Alphalete leggings for a minute. Oh, geez. Okay, so I, I don't know where to start. This is a size medium. These, these tan, the tan ones that I showed in the video are small. These are the Aero leggings and they're, they're not the new release. I just couldn't justify paying like that much money for the new release when I'm in between sizes right now. I've never tried Alphalete. I didn't know if I was going to like them. So I got these two on sale. I think they were 50% off. So I can't be too mad. Um, I think the whole thing was like $70. But what I will say is these feel just like my Jed North leggings. I will show you. These are my leggings from Jed North. Of course, they're inside out. They're just blue with like a little bit of texture on them. And these are so, so compressive. I wear them on leg day um, and it just really like sucks you in. I don't feel like they're gonna 
grip when I squat. Um, they're definitely hot in the summer, but for something that's very compressive, not see-through, and isn't going to rip in the butt when you squat like Gymshark does, it's just my experience. All my Gymshark leggings have ripped when I squat. So these aren't bad at all, but the issue I'm having is they're a pain to get on. I wish I recorded how long it took me to put these pants on because the fabric is so thick, number one, which is good, but if you can see where the, the mesh is, this is mesh, so you can like see your skin a little bit where all this like paneling is, which is awesome, it's a great detail, but you don't wanna rip that mesh, and I have nails, so I thought I was gonna break it out, I was gonna rip the mesh, and then there is, it doesn't look like a lot of fabric. I opened the package of the smalls that, the beige ones, and I said, I have no idea how I'm gonna get my pregnant butt into these. There's absolutely no way. They stretch. I don't even think I need the medium until I'm like six, seven, eight months pregnant. Like that is how much these things stretch and how tiny they look. So they stretch. And also back to that point is they don't look very long. I thought it would be the perfect length for me as a legging because I am five, three, five, two and a half, five, three. I'm like a tiny person. My torso is pretty long and so are my legs for how tall I am. That It's not like I have long legs and a short torso or a long torso, short legs. I'm, I'm just, an, I'm an average human. I don't know, eight inches of legging at the bottom and it's fine normally because I can just do like one tuck and roll and it looks fine or on leg day, I'll wear Converse, like high tops or Vans, and I will tuck, like I'll take the legging and put it under my heel and then my sock over top and then put the Converse high tops on and I'm golden. The Amazon pieces are the last three. It's pink dress, which it's like a, sh it's a weirder material. You can tell it's cheap. It's from Amazon. I got it for the summer with my bum. I need clothes, but this is a really cute summer dress if we're allowed outside, that kind of stuff. It's nice for being like 20 bucks, not even. This is the black romper. It looks like a bag, but whatever. I got this in a large and it kind of fit me now. So I don't know if it's like a size up kind of thing. Normally I'm like a small in rompers, but whatever. And this gave me enough room for a bump which is awesome. And then I feel like I could wear it summers after being pregnant. Same thing with the pink dress. It's just nice that it's bump friendly. They're, these are not maternity clothes at all. Anybody can get these, wear these. They're just things that I got bigger so that I can wear them with a bump. The last thing from Amazon is this. This looks like a big black bag, but it's a big t-shirt dress. It is so comfy. It's like a really soft, cotton jersey material one of those pieces that is so comfy and versatile you can dress it up or dress it down but that is pretty much it i will put everything in the description box below links sizes my measurements <laughs>